awesome. Come on out, guys. It's time for the review. Alrighty, everyone, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Sangoku Soketsudan number 17, Zhao Hu Wan Tall Geese. This iteration of the Tall Geese, while maybe we should call him Short Quack instead, since it's an SD kit, is packed with loads of gold and clear effect parts, so you can make sure that he really stands out despite not being as vertically blessed as some of the other iterations in my backlog. With only six runners and a sticker sheet, this isn't going to be a very intense build, but it looks like it'll be enjoyable nonetheless. The instruction manual also lists some possible combinations with others from the Sangoku Soketsudan line, as well as featuring a two-page comic in both English and Japanese, it looks like it's a part of a series, so maybe once I get around to reviewing the rest of these, we'll be able to put them together and have one big comic. Maybe then also I can finally go back and do that entry-grade voice acting that I keep joking about. Let me know what kind of voice you think Tall Geese should have. Lastly, there is a single info page to fill you in on the reflavored armaments that the Tall Geese is included with. The Dober gun is reflavored as the Soto Hago Seo, and the shield is the Banjo Heki. Now as much as I love the gold parts, gold plastic has a track record of being kind of icky, so we're going to have to fix that. I want this boy to make up for his lack of height by being the shiniest goose in my display case. So let's start by cutting all these pieces out. You do not have to be crazy about getting all of the stress marks off and worrying about that, just so long as it's smooth and flat, we're gonna color over the distress marks. Get your alligator clips. That's what they're called. If you call them anything else, you're bad. And grab yourself a nice gold Gundam marker. Give it a couple shakes to activate that paintball and get it all stirred up. And we're gonna start coloring every piece and hanging them out to dry. And we don't want all of our hard work to go to waste from fingerprints or smudging or chipping when you're posing them so we're going to have to top coat these bad boys i'm going to be using some mr hobby gloss top coat we want to make sure we're using gloss not semi-gloss and definitely not matte because we want this to shine like christmas and let's not forget as well Local janky hardware store, use your coupons, I don't care, just buy a respirator. And here we have the finished product in all of its panel-lined, shiny golden glory. Like other kits in the SD line, this guy has a lot of opportunities for panel lining. Because of his condensed proportions, you get lots of really nice hard edges to do that with. This kit shares a fault with the SDEX line of kits in that the back of the legs are hollow. I don't know why we keep doing this, but I would really prefer to have the whole leg. That way we can panel line it, paint it, whatever we want to do with it. I suppose in the case of the tall geese, it doesn't matter so much. You really kind of have to look for that detail because the skirt he has is so big. It's not immediately noticeable, but nevertheless. I do love how ridiculous and over the top his pompadour is though. This nice legionnaire's feather is very dramatic and swooshy. The sticker is trash, though. It's in like four segments, and they're all very thin and wispy. And the instruction manual even says, be careful not to tear this, which feels a little bit like a slap in the face. Like Speaking of slaps in the face, though, this guy's protected from them because he has that nice visor to give him the iconic tall geese visage that we are so accustomed to, and that is removable and able to be stored in his hand or clipped to the shield. So that you can see those anime eyes, which normally I'm not a huge fan of, but I feel like it's done very well in the case of this kit. Memory drive gimmick in the Sangoku Soketsudan line is also interesting, with the wing memory chip having a nice little wing stamped onto it to give it a nice little bit of detail. These wing memories are described as a recording medium that stores various abilities and data. When combined with the countless devices that exist in the world, it can reproduce the data inside of it. You can swap these around between others in the line and allow you to customize a little bit more, perhaps find some nice contrasting colors, do with it. All right, want. everyone, and that's going to do it for this week. While he might not be the longest honk in your display case, this guy sure has some heart. 
and with his stylized pompadour and these interesting unused back pegs. I'm wondering if maybe we could do a custom SD Talgis flugel down the line. If that's something that you're interested in seeing, let me know down below. And as long as I have a backlog, I will see you guys next week.